did this happen has many aspects to it. One, and perhaps to me the most basic, I would say recurring one, is actually the indifference shown by the central government, by the prime ministers of the day then, about the territory of India. That fact is they simply did not care. And to demonstrate that, I think if one looks at, again this is there in one of the documents of the uh, released under RTI. This is an observation by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in May of 1961. He says, he writes, I attach no importance at all to this little island and I would have no hesitation in giving up our claim to it. I do not like matters like this pending indefinitely and being raised again and again in Parliament. So to Pandit Nehru, this was a little island. It had no importance. He saw it as a nuisance. Why are people bringing it up again and again in Parliament? So for him, the sooner you give it away, the better. How Congress as a party and as a government have ceded a piece of India, a piece of Bharat, relinquished sovereignty, more importantly, shrunk our India's borders, thereby creating all the problems our Tamil fishermen brothers and sisters are facing today. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, India's Prime Minister, even in 1961, in one of the file noting, he says, I attach no importance at all to this little island and I would have no hesitation in giving up our claim to it. I do not like matters like this pending indefinitely and being raised again and again in parliament. So basically he thought this is some small little island and he is not interested to hold on to it. Later we all know in 1968 when Indira Gandhi as India's Prime Minister and the counterpart there Senanayaka ji. And the whole of India was in anger, especially in the parliament, that 1968 some sort of secret deal happened between India and Sri Lanka over the Kachati violet. At that point of time, Congress refused to not to speak about it. They didn't speak. And finally, in 1974, the D-Day, Kachati was ceded to Sri Lanka without even a murmur. Just to keep, just to make sure no riots happen in Tamil Nadu, they brought in Article 6 which said, even if Kachati was ceded to Sri Lanka, the fishermen, brothers and sisters of Tamil Nadu will have complete rights over that island. The fishermen will go, their nets can be put there for drying and they can come back. So nobody is going to question them, they can fish around Kachati also. Now even that was taken, blatantly taken one year later. Between the two foreign secretaries illegally, they removed Article 6 whereby the Kachati was completely lost to Sri Lanka. That is why right now we see the fishermen, brothers and sisters from Tamil Nadu, when their grandparents, when their forefathers, when their fathers were able to reach Kachativu, even till Nedantivu, right now it's a problem. So you see all kinds of issues. Now who is responsible? Congress is 100% purely responsible. Who connived with Congress? The DMK government under Kalingar Karnanadi, they were hand in glove with the Congress government in searing out. Mm -hmm.